Hi folks, so in this brief video I just wanted to talk a little bit about what a thesis statement is and what one might look like for this first essay we're about to write because that's one of the things you want to work on doing a nice job on in the planner that's going to be due. So a thesis statement is basically a summary and kind of a roadmap of the paper that is going to come. Uh, so there are some examples in here there's some explanation in this article about what makes the thesis statement effective. Some qualities. And one of the things I want to say is that a thesis statement is going to be different depending on the type of paper you're writing. So if you're writing a personal reflection, it's totally appropriate to have um, things like I, words, the personal words, personal pronouns like I in the thesis statement. If you're writing an informative paper, that's not appropriate. If you're writing an informative paper, you're going to explain kind of um, a breakdown of the things you'll cover in a paper versus an argumentative paper where you're going to um, offer some kind of argument in response, so some kind of opinion. An informative paper wouldn't really have an opinionated thesis statement. An argumentative paper would have to have some sort of assertion. So the type of thesis statement you write depends on the genre of writing you're working with. Um, if you want to look over this particular article on your own, you can see that it's going to be in the Unit 1 Personal Essay Writing unit. It's in the unit one learning folders. And there's actually two folders in unit one learning materials, the writing process. And there's also, I think, a section on reading and critical thinking. So a lot of the resources that we're going to be referring to when we're talking about writing that paper, the personal essay paper, are going to be in the writing process and instruction folder. So this article is a little bit about thesis statements. What I wanted to do on this video is show you specifically uh, the kind of thesis statement you might be dealing with. Um, so I'm going to go to the sample. And again, if you want to find this, this is going to be in the general course readings module, the sub module um, samples. And this is the same sample we've kind of been following through. Um, so if you check out this um, personal essay sample outline, it's going to include um, a thesis statement, as is the final copy. So we're going to click on the sample outline. And you can see that what we have here is the thesis. Lenore says, um, Skenazi's 2021 article, Reading, Writing, Arithmetic, and Zero About Jobs, made me think about how I learned about careers in school, within my family, and through social media. So in this case, what this person has done is they have included an introduction, the article title, the year it was written. Uh, I'm sorry, the article title here, the article author is here, uh, the year it was written. And you can see they use personal pronouns like I and me. And what they've done is they've broken down the categories they're going to talk about. In this paragraph, they're going to talk about how they learned about careers in school. Um, in this paragraph, they're going to talk about how they learned about careers within their family. And in this paragraph, they're going to talk about careers that, um, or where they learned about careers through social media. So in this case, when this person was writing their outline, they went through and they came up with all their ideas. And you can see that this thesis statement just sums up and gives an idea of the topics that are going to be covered in the paper. That's why a lot of times you might be advised to write your thesis paper after you have an idea of the points you want to make in your paper. So this is a sample thesis that you can kind of use as your model for creating a thesis statement of your own for the personal reflection. You're going to include the information about the article because that's what you're reflecting on. Um, and you're also going to include personal pronouns like I, me, my, uh, and then you're going to include the basic ideas and concepts in general that you're going to go over in your paper.